Hey Ava, have you ever wondered how these rocks got so smooth? The water must have something to do with it. Yeah, the water must be wearing away at the rocks, making them smooth. That's a lot of power. Hi, Potato. Hi, Ava and Ben. You're right. Where there is water, there is power. And in the future, water will play an even more important role in providing clean energy to the planet. Clean energy is made from natural resources like water, wind, and sunshine and doesn't pollute the air or water. Water can make clean energy? How? Looks like we've splashed our way into another mystery. The mysterious case of how water is used to make clean energy. I'm Ava. I'm Ben. And this, this is, is Potato. Potato. Ava, Ben, I've traveled to the future. It's pretty amazing, but together we can make it even better. Welcome, Welcome to, to Clearwater, Clearwater Kids, Kids Challenge. Challenge. Potato said that water makes clean energy, but how? Water certainly makes me clean, but I don't know about that energy part. Look at your leaf! It's a clue! Flowing water can make anything move! Whoa! You're right! Now that I think about it, water is almost always moving. Like in the water cycle. When it rains, water falls from the sky onto the ground, then runs into the streams, which flow into rivers. Which head out to the lakes and sea. And the sea is constantly making waves. The constant movement must be what makes the energy. Right, but how? Let's ask the experts. Expert time! People use fast-moving water, like running river water, to spin something called a turbine. For example, this is a run of river power system. In this system, moving water is taken from a flowing river and guided down a pipe to a turbine. The moving water spins the turbine as it flows past, and the turbine uses that spinning motion to make electricity. Potato, we solved the mystery about how water is a source of energy. It's the constant movement. You are right! In the future, clean energy from water is just as important as energy from the sun and wind. So, water can light up a city. Water is so powerful, it can even lighten up your mood. Who doesn't like to spend time near lakes, rivers, and oceans? Am I right? Speaking of lighting up, would you like to try an experiment? For this experiment, you'll need a used plastic water bottle, some plastic spoons, a DC motor, some wires, and an LED light. This might be the most unique hydroelectric generator I've ever seen. Ready? More power to ya. Look, Ben. The flow of the water is moving the spoons. And it's making the light turn on. The movement of the water produces enough energy to turn on the light. What an electrifying experiment. Now you have the power of water. Challenge time. Just like me, water is always on the go. And the way it moves can be useful. I'm challenging you to make your own hydroelectric generator at home. Remember, always ask a parent or adult for help. Clearwater Kids Challenge! 